the land of the rising sun the state of arunachal pradesh is area wise the largest state of the northeastern region of india in this video we are going to talk about different rivers that are flowing in the state of arunachal pradesh and in order to have a better understanding of that we are first required to understand the basic terrain of the northeastern region of india the state of arunachal pradesh forms the eastern part of the himalayas that are flowing from the west to east direction and from the state of arunachal pradesh they make a southward bend and ultimately they move towards the southwest direction so as you can see right on your screen it is quite evident that any river that has its origin in the himalayan belt is bound to have a drainage flowing from the assam plains with this understanding let's start The state comprises of 25 districts and geographically it can be segmented into different river valleys and continuous mountain ranges. The prominent amongst those includes the Dafla Hills, the Miri Hills, the Abhor Hills, the Mishmi Hills and the Patkai Mam. When we talk about rivers, the first river that finds mention is the prominent and the mighty Brahmaputra River which arises in the Tibetan region and flows parallel to the himalayan range just near to the namcha barwa it takes a sharp southward bend and enters the upper siang district of the state of arunachal pradesh thereafter it travels to the different districts and ultimately arises into the plains near the pasi ghat in the east siang and enters the state of assam here the river finds multiple tributaries traveling through different states now we are going to talk about the different tributaries that form a part of the brahmaputra river so as the geographical bend goes from the west to east direction we are also going to follow the same so the westernmost district of the state of arunachal pradesh is this district of tawang just near to the border of the tawang district and the kameng districts there lies the gorichen mountain from where the kameng river arises the river after following a long route ultimately forms the boundary of the west kameng east kameng and the pakke kaseng district it enters assam and ultimately joins the river brahmaputra some prominent facts that need to be remembered here is that the gorichen mountain is the largest or the tallest peak in the state of arunachal pradesh now you are required to tell me in the comment section which is the tallest mountain peak in india just near to the western side of the kameng river in the west kameng district there also lies the famous eagle nest wildlife sanctuary then in the pakke kaseng district we have the famous pakke tiger reserve or the pakke wildlife sanctuary from where the famous pakke river flows and joins the kameng river here also lies the sesa orchard sanctuary so now we are going to the eastern side following to the districts of west kameng east kameng we are entering the catchment area of the river subansari so the river subansari arises from the tibetan region after getting tributaries from different areas it enters different districts and thereafter makes the boundary between the upper subansari area and the lower subansari districts it ultimately joins the river brahmaputra through the district lakhimpur in the state of assam what you are required to understand is that the river subansari flows through the district capital of dapur region from where a bridge has also been recently inaugurated the lower subansari catchment area has been further divided into different districts of the kurukume the karadadi kamle district and the lower subansari district it also follows a famous river known as the kurung river which joins the river subansari now as we go towards the eastern side we see the catchment area of the siang river which is itself divided into the upper siang lower siang west siang east siang and the districts of siang shiyoma and the lepareda now as we go towards the eastern side we are in the districts of the dibang valley and the lower dibang valley as the name suggest 
from here the famous dibang river flows and ultimately it joins the river brahmaputra the river dibang is joined by multiple tributaries and quite famous drainage patterns can be observed from here it is nice to mention that this area has a huge biodiversity and is also famous as the dihang dibang biosphere reserves which is one of the 18 biosphere reserves recognized by unesco in india now as we go towards the southeastern direction we are going into the drainage of the famous lohit river the lohit river arises in the tibetan hills and enters in the district of anjong after meandering through few kilometers it travels through the district headquarters of hawaii and it enters into the district of lohit flowing through the namsai district it joins the river brahmaputra in the state of assam what you should know is that there is a unique drainage pattern that can be observed in this area which is a delta in rivers this kind of pattern is not observed in most of the rivers the next we are going to talk about is the southern districts of the changlang tirab and the longting here is the tirab river and in the changlang district i would like to draw your attention to the fact that there lies the famous namdafa national park here another prominent river the noa the hing is flowing across the changlang district and it merges with the lohit river another offshoot of this river is the buri dihing which travels tin sukhia and the dibrugarh and joins the river brahmaputra the word dihing means the big river and so the two prominent rivers are also observed here we can also see in this district that there is the famous kamlang wildlife sanctuary which forms a part of the southern lohit and the southern anjong district the kamlang river also joins the lohit river the next part that i would like to tell you is that this area from where the lohit river enters into the plains is also known as the parshuram kund which also has a lot of scenic beauty as we have covered the majority part we can see two more aspects in the papampare district there lies the state capital of itanagar which also has the itanagar wildlife sanctuary and there is also a kameng elephant reserve which is comprising of the districts of the west kameng east kameng and the pakke kesang so in this video we talked about the different rivers that are flowing in the state of arunachal pradesh we also talked about the major tourist attractions and the ecological attractions that are there if you would like me to cover more such videos do let me know in the comment section the question that i have asked you you must tell me and if you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and please like the video